Hello friends, I'm Samir Sadiq Sheikh, working as an assistant professor in computer engineering department of Sanjuni College of Engineering, Kopargaon. Today I'm going to present approximate computing for reducing a carbon footprint as a part of international FDP on environment and sustainability organized by D.Y. Patil College of Engineering, Akodi. Previously, uh, I presented a two video, uh, week one video and week two video. So for week one, there are three likes and uh, 20 number of views. Content of uh, week one video is what is approximate computing? Introduction to approximate computing, approximate computing in image processing, strategies in approximate computing, application areas of approximate computing, second week video it is related to standards so number of likes for that one is 4 number of views are 15 the week 2 content in contents are what are the coding rules and guidelines why are coding standards are important now how to enforce the coding standards in a computing after learning this uh, going through this video to what are the video outcomes so to understand the requirement and need of approximate computing for environment and sustainability second outcome is to analyze whether the approximate computing is helpful to meet a need of various computing applications third to evaluate really approximate computing is reducing the pollutions and helping the environment and fourth one to evaluate that Approximate computing is a better solution to reduce the carbon footprint. So on this basis, there are some standardizing organization that framing the standards. So computing requires hardware, softwares. Right? So how approximately we are going to compute these ones for different in a computing environment. There are different standards like ISO standards, IEEE standards, uh, then IEC standards. So ISO, IEC 30,134 30, part 2 standard is related to data centers. ISO, IEC TR 23,188 uh, is related to cloud computing, age computing landscape standard. So IEC CD 23751 that is related to again cloud computing but here it is a distributed platform so data sharing agreement framework uh, related to that one ISO IEC WD 19944 part 2 it is again cloud computing and distributed platform but over here it is re related to the cloud services and devices like a data flow, data categories and data use. And part 2 that is a guidance on application and extensibility. ISO 14064 part 2 it specifies the principle and requirement provided provides guidance at a the project level for qualification monitoring and reporting activity intended to cause a greenhouse gas emission reduction and removal enhancement so that is also we required greenhouse gas emission now moving to IEEE standards IEEE 1680.1 that is standard for environmental and social responsibility assessment of computers, tablets, and monitors. This is related to hardware. Again, uh, IEEE one thousand six hundred eighty point two. That is the standard for environmental assessment of imaging equipment. That whatever the image we are capturing, right? So, what are the standard for that one? That is the uh, printers. Uh, equipment like uh, printers, uh, copiers, scanners, pack machines and multi-function multi devices. IEEE P7000, the model process for addressing ethical concern during the system design. IEEE P7001, transparency of autonomous system. 
IEEE P7002 data privacy process. So, uh, CO2 emission in computing. Computing industry has been wasteful in the use of resources in electrical activity. No one cares about CO2 in the last 10 years. Suddenly, people care about it. The availability of electricity is now limiting factors. The computing industry contributes 2% of global carbon emission. Remember this? The computing industry contributes 2% of global carbon emission. So, suppose we are taking one example, power consumption by the data servers uh, at the data centers. That is in wax at different levels how how much they get used okay if 10 percent efficiency 20 percent efficiency 30 percent to 100 percent that is a max from sleep mode to 100 percent okay so two servers we are considering ibm x uh, 3550 m3 that is the Intel Xenon X5670 CPU and uh, second one that is IBM X3550 M3 Intel Xeon X5675 CPU. So these two CPUs and there uh, in this table it is mentioned that how much watts they are going to be used at a different levels of usage 0% level 10% 20% 30% up to 100% so if no one is going to use up to a maximum limit maybe it get be used up to 50% uh, to 80% right so the carbon emission of that one I thought nearly about 40% uh, to 80% so now the calculation of carbon emitted by the servers look the formula for this one is the power consumption into the time uh, into carbon produced based on a local power grid so ibm uh, x 3550 m3 uh, using Intel Xeon uh, X5675 CPU, right? It get be calculated like this one. So 145 watts into 24 hours. 24 hours it get be used. I'm not mentioning that uh, downtime and all these stuffs. I have not mentioned over here. Uh, 24 hours it get be used. So 3.48 kilowatts. Uh, get be generated uh, into the carbon produce based on the local power grid that is uh, equal uh, 0 0.432 uh, kg equivalent co2 emission kilo watt per hour so that is 1.5 kilogram equivalent co2 and it's if we are using a second one that is x5670 cpu 1.45 kg equivalent to co2 so here both the this having a higher capacity this having a lower capacity right so if both are working same okay some accepted result it get be uh, given by the IBM Intel Zon X5670 CPU right so instead of this one why not second one it get be used that is approximate computing it get be provided by this so not only the hardware like a software and different devices that carbon emission it get be calculated using this one so you can uh, go to this reference site and you can compute the different hardware carbon emission 
so the next slide i have mentioned that uh, ict carbon footprint in 2015 so this is 2015 data so overall user devices account for the larger share of the total carbon footprint of ict in 2015 for user devices about half of the emissions are related to usage and the other half of the rest of the life cycle so desktop pc usage and smartphone manufacturing represent the most sustainable substantial impact followed by the customer premises equipment laptops and monitors for networks and data centers the greenhouse gas emission associated with operation account for the largest impact indicating that the continued focus on energy efficiency is important for these products to further reduce the carbon footprint so based on this when we can observe that different devices their carbon footprints mainly user devices so how to reduce the carbon footprint in a company first choose your cloud provider wisely read their sustainability commitments and make an informed choice choose your region different regions are powered by the different combinations of renewable and non renewable energy sources select more sustainable region so buy carbon offsets the term offset just means you are using a that tons of offsets a tons you have put into the atmosphere we can have a big impact of uh, proposing offsetting within the organization don't do the grid search establish a good values at least do it randomly not via grid search choose a clean energy choosing a cleaner and more sustainable source of energy will decrease the carbon impact so now coming to the sustainability sustainability is a broad use term for the ability of company for long lasting sustainability is the ability to be overseen at the steady level without deflecting the environmental assets sustainability sustainable software the software whose impact on economy society human beings and environment that result from the development deployment and usage of software are minimal and or which have a positive effect on sustainable development so let's see this three dimensions of sustainability economic that related to profit social that related to people and environmental that related to planet so these three are forming the sustainable that is sustainable development right so in software uh, life cycle management there are how it get be managed that is a policy and strategies are get be framed then system and processes right concepts and programs tool techniques data informations and models right so there are different things uh, in that one not only the software then hardware also take a part that is a new hardware uh, that hardware is flowing then uh, towards the absolute hardware energy is flowing then in electric energy to waste heat right the two main physical flows to be reduced thus reduced by the sustainable software right so uh, sustainable software development process this is the sustainable software development process first to welcome the charging uh, requirement when late in development frequently delivered software work together trust and support face to face conversion working software sustainable development continuous attention simplicity self organizing team reflect and adjust customer satisfaction through early and continuous delivery of useful software so this is a sustainable software development process now how to calculate the carbon uh, sorry sustainable sustainability there are various tool in a market that calculating the software sustainability even your competing sustainability 
approximate computing uh, sustainability. So Microsoft Sustainability Calculator that provides uh, that is a Power BI application for Azure Enterprise customers that provides a new insight into the carbon emission data associated with their Azure services, migrating from traditional data centers to cloud services significantly improve the efficiency. However, the enterprises are now looking for additional insights into the carbon impact and their cloud workloads to help them to make more sustainable computing decisions. Second one is LCA calculator. The LCA calculator is an easy and powerful software tools for evaluating the effects of that products or services has on environment over its life cycle. By measuring each of the steps, you can understand and estimate the total impact of the product. By understanding all the impacts, one can take a necessary measure to reduce the environmental impact and make a processes more sustainable and environmental friendly. Thank you guys to listening me. Thank you. Thank you all of you.